review here from Todd Kelly. We finally went for a run and I am truly impressed and that's hard. From traveling at six, sorry, traveling at five to six knots, which used to bury in, creating a bow wave to next to nothing at all, all the way up to 26 to 38 knots. Usually I have to have to not take my finger off the trim button. I think I touched it twice, unbelievable. I would recommend anybody I used to dread the chop, now it's bring it on. That's the type of improvement that, that you can expect and that's an instant improvement. A much smoother ride, much faster cruising speed. Um, so what you have, have is a uh, direct steering response. There's no delay, it's an instant steering response. It totally dominates the bow. It's self-leveling the bow. And it's a stern traction steering. So with this device on here, all the water flow around there has to be moved before the boat can, can tip over a lean. So it totally dominates everything. It, it, it's an absolute game changer. So here's one from Todd Bollard, October 28th. I, I can't speak more highly of the new tail fin I have re recently fitted to the tank. So he calls his boat the tank, that's pretty cool. And he's got some sign writing on that now, and it calls it the tank, that's pretty cool. I will admit I was a bit app apprehensive to start with, but after recent sea trials over the last few weekends, I can safely say I am super happy. It has clearly improved the performance of my boat when on the plane at lower speeds and also the turning and performance in swells. Thank you, Peter. So, I mean, it doesn't matter whether the water's rough or calm. This just, it's working the whole time. Even when you're just sitting there fishing, it's stopping the boat from rocking as much. Uh, it's all self-leveling and it's all self-adjusting. So it depends on how fast you're going through the water to how much water volume it is contacting and surrounding this product. It, so it's just all self-adjusting. It's so user-friendly. And it doesn't matter if the, if the boat is... Um, leaning outwards or inwards so that's absolutely insane 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 so I'll just show you once again waterflow contact in this device so when you turn your steering and you're leaning if you're turning inwards it's contacting here on the outside but inside here on the opposite side of the steering point so that's taking load off the cables creates like a power steering and that's wanting to self-level the boat. And it doesn't matter whether it's a V-hole turning with the inward leaning or a cat turning with the outward leaning. So this helps to control your boat on flat surface when you're on a cat turning to help you stop you from tipping over. So you have the you now have the water flow on this outside surface here and on the inside surface here wanting to level the boat. So outward leaning cats or inward leaning Vs self-leveling is so user friendly it doesn't matter whether you're turning which way you're turning which way the boat's leaning it's all self-leveling when you're rocking it slows everything down you can't rock over as far so it's such a simple device but it is absolutely incredible the difference this is making and how it is smoothing the boat ride if you were to put suspension on a car you put the suspension and the springs on each wheel you can't do that. You can't put it on the bow, it's got to go to the stern. This is the steering point, it's on each side of the prop thrust, so it's balancing the hull completely. So that is now creating the suspension using water flow and doing all these, controlling all these movements at the same time. So I can't show you them all at the same time, but that's how good this product is. It's doing all those movements at the same time. Thanks very much. Enjoy your day.